Hey, I'll try to hear something stupid real quick. This does not stimulate immunity. The injection is instructions to make the toxin, not instructions to stimulate an immune response. Man. Yo. First off, no vaccine gives your body instructions to stimulate an immune response. It already has those instructions via several pathways. To keep it brief, we'll put them in two groups. One group called humoral immunity and another group called cell-mediated immunity. Humoral is relying on your B cells and it's how your antibodies come about. An antigen or a foreign substance comes in contact with a receptor on the B cell, stimulating the creation of B plasma cells, which in turn create antibodies. Those antibodies then bind to that antigen, while the fragment crystallizable region of the antibody, call it FC because ain't nobody got time, interacts with receptors on cells and proteins, inducing a follow up wave called FC mediated effector functions. This includes complement, antibody dependent cellular phagocytosis, which I can only describe by asking, Have you ever been swallowed up? Or something called antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity, whatever works. Cell mediated immunity are the defenses that don't rely on antibodies, but rather T cells, cytokines, and macrophages in order to respond to an antigen. T cells have memory functions and the ability to kill infected cells. Macrophages do more of that swallowing. We were talking about earlier. Cytokines are a bunch of signaling proteins that direct the inflammatory response to a threat. Your immune system don't need instructions on how to respond. It just need an antigen to respond to. Vaccines provide the antigen in one way or another. In this case, having your dendritic cells make the antigen themselves and then show it on their surface to your B cells and T cells. Therefore, stimulating immunity. Evil Krillin. Instructions to make the toxin. Spike protein is not a toxin. Y'all gotta stop saying that. It's a fusion polypeptide of carbohydrates with attached amino acids. All coronaviruses have them. He didn't even know that. Pfizer's first spike protein vaccine patent filed, are you ready for this? In 1990. Isn't it fascinating that we were we were told that, well, the spike protein is a new thing. We just found out that that's the problem. See? Viral spike camouflages the virus from your immune system by using bonded sugar molecules to cover itself. Binds to your cell's H2 receptors and fuses with your cell membrane to assist in viral entry. Mind you, I'm talking about spike on the actual virus. Spike your dendritic cells make out the vaccination don't do none of that. Due to two amino acid changes, it just sit there like and it don't have no virus with it. It just happened to be the protein with the scariest name. Even Mr. Clean has confidence, but no expertise.